Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> we're doing Blue's Clues Hand Puppet today. Hi guys, so this is where you're going to turn on your subtitles for the video. And if you want to join my membership, you can get free access to all my PDFs. And I also like to show you just a few examples of what I sell in my merch shop. I appreciate your support and back to the video. Let's just jump right into this cute little guy. So we're going to run through what we need for this project. These eyes that are so perfect for this guy are those. They are glue on and they come in this little bag I got from Amazon. So I'm going to put that up on the screen. Uh, keep in mind they're Canadian dollars that you're going to see so it'll be a lot cheaper for you. Uh, I guess depending on where you live. I think our dollar is higher than anybody. The yarn I used is a Craft Smart and it's just a light blue. That's the color of it. It calls for a 5.5 hook. I'm using a 4.5 because this is going to be built in Amigurumi. It's a much tighter, tighter weave. The dots, the polka dots, you can see mine are two different colors. I've been trying two different types of um, felt, but these are just felt cut into circles. So you're going to need a hot glue gun to glue them on because that's the best way I think to attach them. A dark blue color just for the nose and a pink color for the little tongue that we did. And some stuffing because that's what's inside this head is stuffing. And then white for around the eyes. That's what we glue the eyes to is this white that we crochet. Now let's jump right into this. So the lower jaw and the upper jaw are um, two completely different designs. So we'll start with the lower jaw. We're going to make a magic ring of six single crochets. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. No slip stitching, no chaining. Straight into the stitch for amigurumi. Your first stitch is the one that gets the marker. And you can put stitch number two in there and continue with two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12. Your next round is going to be one single crochets and an increase. I am weaving in my tail at the back because it's a hand puppet and your hand's going to be in there. So that's my one single crochet and then my next stitch gets the increase which is two single crochets in the same space. Continue with this all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. Next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase, and this will bring you up to 24 stitches. That's number one. That's number two. And then your next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat.
Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. And this will bring you up to 30 stitches. That's number one. That is three single crochets and then your increase. So that's about the end of our increases for our lower jaw. So for the next eight rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 30 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So that's my eight rows. I am going to fasten off so again just like the other one one and needs a sewing tail and the other one is just we're gonna just stay attached to that one. So we can set this aside and move on to our upper jaw. This one is a little different because it's a little bigger. Uh, just because that was just the way his face is shaped. So we're gonna start with a magic ring of eight single crochets. Your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. After the first stitch, that's where your marker goes. Then stitch number two can go in there. Two single crochets in each stitch around will give you 16 stitches when we're done. I am yarning under, not over, for this guy just because a little more boxier stitches and a tighter weave. For me, anyway, I seem to um, I seem to crochet tighter when I'm doing this. Uh, yarning under, not over. So your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. And this will bring you up to 24 stitches. So that's number one. And then your next stitch gets the increase. Repeat. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. Oops. That's number one. That's two. And then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So this is what you should have. For the next 12 rows, I want you to put one single crochet in each of what should be 32 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So that's my 12 rows. I'm not going to fasten off, but I 
am going to make this the other side. So, your bottom jaw is supposed to be shorter than your upper jaw. So, we're going to put this over at the side and you're going to sew these two pieces together. So just make sure it's kind of even. Maybe one more. And then I'm going to make a knot right there. And then you're going to have to weave this because it is a hand puppet, so. should have 37 stitches. You're going to do the next 14 rows, one single crochet in each stitch, however many you have. For the next 14 rows. So it doesn't really matter if you have 37, if you don't, it's fine. Uh, just do whatever, however many stitches you get going around because I don't know what you're going to do in your sew spots for the next 14 rows. So this is my 14 rows. This is what you should have. So you can fasten off So because we work in amigurumi this is off we can just fix that right up by going through your next stitch and then down the back loop of your stitch prior to your fasten off point which is there and pull should make that look like a stitch and kinda make it look a lot better and then you can weave So if you want this longer, this goes down to my wrist, but if you want it longer, you can certainly make it longer. So now we make, for this Blue's Clues, we need to make another one of these little thingies for his head. He's the only puppet I've done so far that's had a noggin like this. So We're going to do a magic ring of six single crochets. So your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch round for a total of 12. Doesn't really matter what you do with your straggler at the back. So it's not really going to be noticeable. You're just sewing it to the to the top. So your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. So that's my one single crochet. And then of course the next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets. 
in the same space. Oh my gosh, I'm tired today. So I repeat this all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So for your next round, I just want you to do one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 24 stitches. Number one, that's number two, and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space and repeat. For the next two rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 24 stitches, and I will see you on the other side. So that's my two rows. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. This will bring it up to 30 stitches. The three single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space and repeat. So your next round is going to be one single crochet in each of these 30 stitches. Your last round is going to be four single crochets and an increase and this will bring you up to 36 stitches. And that is as far as we go. That's number one. That's four single crochets and then your increase. And repeat. So this is what you should have. You can fasten off. The sewing tail. So we can set this aside for the time being. And we can do the eyes which we're going to sew to this, the white part anyway. So, get some white. So we're going to do a magic ring of six single crochets. And then you're going to do one single crochet and an increase. That's one single crochet and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And that is it for the eyes, the white parts. Um, if you're 
didn't grab the eyeballs that I put up on the screen. And I just have to figure out how to make different eyes. Or just use safety eyes or something. So, you can fasten off. The sewing tail. And uh, I'll put this pattern on the screen. You can make part number two. All right, so I got my two eyes done. I've got my two eyes that I'm gonna use all picked out. And now we can make our little tongue and then we'll sew everything together before we start the ears because those are big. Those will be the last things we sew on. So your tongue, you're going to chain seven. So we're starting with a slip knot. That's my chain seven. So you're gonna do six single crochets back up. Well, I'm struggling with this. This is my sixth stitch, the extreme hard way. Oh, I have two left hands all of a sudden. Chain one, turn your work. Now I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these six stitches. And this last turning over stitch make sure you're getting underneath both those pieces. Chain one, turn your work. So now we're going to decrease, so I want you to do an SE2 tug in these first two stitches, which is just a decrease. And then I want you to do two single crochets, and then SE2 tug in the last two stitches. Chain one, turn your work. You should have four stitches. I just want you to do two rows of one single crochet in each of these four stitches. Chain one, turn your work. And now we're just gonna SC2 tug, SC2 tug. So decrease. And decrease. That is it. Fasten off with the sewing tail. That's your tongue all sewn on. Mine's not sewn on very good. So we can sew the top of this on. So it does sit back a bit more than what you would think. And then we put a little nose here and then we'll do a dot and a dot. So. This gets stuffed, this thing.
So, that's my thing sewn on. So now I'm going to take some dark blue. It's really the only dark blue that's on him, and that's his nose. So I just sewed it on. I'll just kind of grab. I don't know what this is. I have no tag for it. I'm so bad for doing that. So, um, I just kind of used the magic ring spot for a starting point. So it doesn't really matter where you come in, just where you come out. So I'm going to come out the magic ring. And then I just kind of went up a little bit. Back and forth a few times. And then I came up here. Just kind of like a row up. And that's when I started going back and forth. Just kind of try to stay somewhat even. I just start going back and forth a few thousand times. Just guide it with your fingers where you want your pieces to kind of wrap around. This nose was weird and it actually took me a while to figure out what to do with his nose. But this was the best look I found. I think that's good for me. So you just kind of pop out somewhere. always have too much stuff. So that's his nose. So these eyes I use these stragglers just to um, leg them down before I started sewing, just to make sure that I had them in a good spot. But you know what? I think I'm going to glue mine on. So I'm going to come up here. I meet up with the one that I legged in with. And then I think just to be on the safe side, I'm still going to tie these together and poke them down. So once his ears are on, <laughs> he turns into Blue's Clues once his ears are on. So let's put some spots on though first before we make our ears. 
So um, this is not a very good matching color, but try to find a color for his spots. That's a good color right there because that's almost the color that he is, but I could only find a little bit of that, so then I had to use the darker blue. But it's completely up to you, and actually I got a hot glue my ear back on because I started to come off from my other guy. And my other one, I didn't actually hot glue it. I, um, I used regular glue. So it didn't really stay on all that great. So, what I did was just cut circles. So that's a few different sizes. So let's get making the ears. You get the gist of how we cut circles out in felt. I don't think I even needed to show you, but. All right, so to make these ears, we're gonna start with magic ring of six single crochets. Um, these ears have no wires in them. Um, they don't really move. If we crochet them into this shape, so there's no wire or anything. And you could probably still move them around a bit, but um, they're crocheted into, into that shape. Which means expect some weirdo stuff later. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. Your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. one single crochet and then your increase two single crochets in the same space I'm weaving in my tail back here but again you don't have to it's no big deal it's just meant to keep your um, magic ring secured and some people think it gets in their way. Like, sometimes it gets in my way when I'm crocheting. So for the next three rounds, you should have 18 stitches. For the next three rounds, you're going to put one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches and I will see you on the other side. Your next round is going to be one single crochet and a decrease. That's my one single crochet. And then my decrease is going to be done in the front loops only. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to go into the front loop. And I'm going to pop around, go into the second front loop. Then I'm going to yarn under, pull through, and finish the stitch. You can yarn over, but I'm yarning under throughout this entire project. So 
You can do whatever you want. <coughs> so one single crochet. So now we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease. That's number one. This this does not get stuffed, by the way, so please don't stuff it. That's number one. That's number two. And then still my invisible decrease. So this is what you should have, and that's how it's going to be, it's flat like that. We're only stuffing the twisty parts. So you should have nine stitches. So this round we're going to start making it turn. We're going to do four single crochets to start. That's my four single crochets. And then you're going to do five extended crochets, single crochets. So you're going to go into your loop. You're going to yarn over or under in my case. You're going to pull through. And normally you'd yarn over and pull through to finish your single crochet. But with an extended single crochet, you're going to go through one, pull through one, and then pull through two. That's an extended single crochet. So you've got five of those to do. So again, go into your stitch, pull through, yarn over, or under, in my case, because it doesn't matter. Pull through one, and then pull through two. So just continue to do that for... It's like a double crochet, but in singles. Pull through one, pull through two through one pull through two so that's an extended and that's how we're going to get it to turn like that because we're going to do one side a single and the other side is extended there's not that much of a difference between the two of them but over time you will see how it's significant so I want you to do four more rows like that we just did one we need to have five all together so we've got four more to do four singles and then five extended singles. So that's my five rows. Do you see the turn it's already making? So you still have the same amount of stitches. You still have nine stitches. For the next three rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of them. After we start just doing singles again and not the extended, you'll really, really see it start to, to move around. So for the next three rows, one single crochet in each of these nine stitches. So that's my three rows. Uh, we stuffed this part. We don't stuff this part though. Don't stuff the round part. We're just going to stuff down here. So it, you can get a finger down. Just make sure when you're stuffing it, you're allowing for that turn. So then you kind of accentuate it a little bit. Let's see what I mean. So we don't put a whole lot of stuffing in here, just really a little, little, little bit. 
Yeah, see, that's almost too much. Just a little wee bit. So, this is what you should have at this point. The next two different stitches are going to be the same amount, still going to be nine stitches, but we're going to do six extended over here and then th only three singles over here. Now we have to get it to go back the other way. We have to get the other twist in. So we kind of got to be a little more um, aggressive. So six extended. So pull through one and then pull through two. This is my six extended. So now I'm just going to do three single crochets to the marker. And you're going to do the same thing for five rows. So we've just done one together. You've got four more to do. So for the next two rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these nine stitches. So this is our ear. So we can fasten off with a sewing tail. So I can just finish stuffing it. Just remember about this bend that we have. So it should never really unbend and you can obviously still accentuated a little bit more so <clears throat> we're gonna cinch the top closed it's easier to sew on that way I think so let's go in your front loop out your next front loop once you're fully stuffed and you're satisfied with your stuffing So, um, before we sew it to our head, we need to find our dot. I oh, see that's too big. Find a circle. Go ahead and make your second ear. I gotta clean up all my glue strings and make my second ear and I'll meet you right back here. So I got my other ear done. I just gotta put these little dots on them.
all done my blues clues the yellow eyes honestly I gotta say I think the blue eyes look way better than the yellow eyes they certainly do but that's the blues clues puppets thanks for joining me guys I'll see you in the next video